friends at Christ Victorious. I'm so excited I get to talk to you again. Still missing all of you very much. So today I have a verse from the book of Hebrews that I want to share with you. It's one that means a lot to me and I hope will mean a lot to you as well. So I'm going to read it to you. This is from the book of Hebrews chapter 7 verse 25. It says, therefore, he, Jesus, is able to save to the uttermost those who draw near to God through him, seeing that he lives forever to make intercession for them. Now I know there's a lot of big words in there, so I want to explain it to you in a way that might be a little easier to understand, especially that word intercession. So what I brought with me is I have some friends here and I am going to introduce them to you. This one, we're gonna call her Eleanor. And this is Eleanor's best friend, Bryn. Now, Eleanor and Bryn, in my story here, they are best friends, but as you all know, people aren't always best friends, right? Best friends fight. So they get into a fight and Eleanor accuses Bryn of doing something. And Bryn is trying to defend herself against what Eleanor said about her but Eleanor's not listening. Eleanor is too angry, she's too upset, and she doesn't wanna listen to Bryn. All of you, I'm sure, have had this happen where you, you just can't seem to get through to your friend and you're having this huge fight. So in comes my crazy soccer player here, and we're gonna call him Joshua. He's named after my son Joshua because I have a son who plays soccer and he has crazy hair. So this is Joshua. But Joshua's gonna come in and he's gonna help Bryn out. He's gonna stand in between these two girls that are fighting, and he's gonna help Bryn out. He's gonna stand up for her and say, hey, Eleanor, listen to Bryn. Listen to what she's saying. She's innocent in all of this. Stop telling her she's done all these mean things. And by doing that, Joshua is helping Bryn and Eleanor. He's restoring their relationship. He's helping them get along again. And that is exactly what Jesus does for us. When it says that Jesus lives forever to make intercession for us, that means that Jesus defends us. Especially he defends us when we sin and when we do something wrong. Because Satan, Satan wants to accuse us. The name Satan, devil, actually means the accuser. He wants to accuse us. He wants us to look bad in front of God. So Jesus stands right by our side and he defends us. So whenever you sin or do something wrong and you pray and you ask Jesus to forgive you, he's there, that's what he does. He lives forever to forgive you and to stand next to you when Satan tries to accuse you of doing things and tries to make you stay in your sin. Jesus is right there next to you defending you. So this week, I have a little challenge for you. I want you, first of all, to try to be someone like this crazy Joshua. Try to be the person who sticks up for the underdog or maybe if there's somebody getting bullied that you know, maybe you can be the one to step up and intercede for them when others are picking on them. Or maybe you're the one that's getting picked on and what you need to know is that Jesus is there he loves you and he defends you. And when you sin, when you do something wrong and you pray and you ask Jesus to forgive you, you need to know that he totally forgives you. And even if Satan keeps trying to accuse you of doing things, Jesus is right there. He is there to defend you. So I'm gonna read our verse one more time for you. It is Hebrews chapter seven, verse 25. Therefore, he, Jesus, is able to save to the uttermost those who draw near to God through him, seeing that he lives forever to make intercession for them. I want you to remember, Jesus is your best friend. He's by your side and he's defending you. And I'm so thankful that I got to talk to you today. And I just hope that you remember that Jesus loves you. He's interceding for you. He's taking care of you and that you can, be, you can be that same person for someone else. And I'm just gonna say a quick prayer to end this. So if you all will pray with me. Dear Jesus, thank you so much 
for interceding for us. Thank you so much for being our best friend. Thank you for always being with us and always seeing the best in us. Thank you for all the blessings you've given to us. In your name I pray, Jesus. Amen. Thank you all of my friends.